Parshas Vayelech, Tovshinai and Vov, first time we could say that, Shabbos Shuva, we're now at the Shabbos between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, is known as Shabbos Shuva. And really, tonight's year is going to be about doing Tshuva, about the Aseris you made Tshuva, and we're going to give some really good ideas to use, to be ready for Yom Kippur, to try to use these last few days before Yom Kippur to elevate ourselves and to do the right thing, to do really what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants us to do before Yom Kippur. We know, we landed this week in the Haftorah by Mincha on Tzom Gedalia, the Posuk in Yeshaya, Perek and Nunhei, says the following, and we begin, Yershu Hashem behimot oi, seek out Hashem, Hashem is here, Hashem is close, Hashem is now available, Kira'uhu, call out, Bihiyoisoi koroi, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu is close to us. So Chazal, Sech Rosh Hashanah, Dat Yudches Amar Aleph, Chazal tell us that this Pasuk is referring to Elu Yomim, the Gemara says, these are the days of Aseris Yimei Tshuva, of the days from Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur, where HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us the opportunity to come back and be close to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and these are the days that Hashem is Koroi, He's close to us, and He is Motzoi, and He is available to us, so to speak. The days that we are in the midst of right now, the days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom HaKippur. So the Siva Shon says that this Gemara, this Maimar Chazal, really requires a little bit explanation. Because we're saying now that when should a, um, a person call out, when should a person seek out Hashem, when, you, when Hashem is close, don't we know, as the Siva Shalom, and this is certainly the Mahalach of the Siva Shalom always, that a person needs to reach out for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, reach out for Hashem, even when you are in the darkest of times. Even when you are so, so far from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when you know that you, have to, you must be far from Hashem, you should be reaching out to Hashem. Doesn't the Yid have to do that? Doesn't have to, a Yid have to seek out HaKadosh Baruch Hu at all times? So why are we saying that now this time between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur is special? It is unique because this is the time to call out to Hashem because He is close to us. Even when times are dark, we're supposed to be reaching and looking for Hashem. See, Hashem has a beautiful explanation on this. And to begin the explanation, let me make the following point. There is a Pasuk in Yirmiyo, a Pasuk in Yirmiyo, Yirmiyo Anavi says in Perak Beis, like this, Hinani nishpat oisach al omrech loy chatasi. That Hashem is saying that you are going to be judged on what? It doesn't say right there that you're going to be judged on your Averis, on the Averis that you do. You're going to be judged al amorek loy chatasi. When you, if a person says, I didn't do an Avera. In other words, what we're saying here is that the main judgment isn't necessarily on the actual sin, on the actual avera that a person might do. It is more on the denial and the not acknowledging that you did a chay. Hashem wants you to fess up. Hashem wants you to say, I couldn't, for whatever reason, but I am moida, I am, right now I am admitting that I did an avera. And the, 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 the Navi Yerio is telling us that it is worse to deny than to actually do the chay. Walking around and a person behaving as if you did nothing, it's great, it's a beautiful day, nothing happened. The person saying, acting like he didn't do anything wrong, that is a bigger problem. And the Sivshon says that from that puzzle. The puzzle says in Parsha's Bolo, Lohibit Oven B'Yakoi, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu Kaviyachal, at times, and we have to really understand, when we spoke in Parshas Balak, we gave a, a much more lengthy explanation on this subject, but to put it 
um, to put it uh, in just a sentence or two, that a Kaddish Baruch Hu has the option, and a Kaddish Baruch Hu, of course, at times can look away the iniquities of Kla Yisrael. So we say, and the Pesach continues, Hashem if we say that Hashem will look away from the iniquities of Kla Yisrael, the Pesach says, Hashem Eloi Usruas Melech Boy. Hashem is with you, Usruas Melech Boy. Says in Ziva Shalom. Says, you know, when does Hashem, so to speak, look away? When are we able to have this, like Hibit Avem Biyakoi, that Hashem doesn't look so strongly at some of our missteps, at some of our doings that are not so good? When is that? Like Hibit Avem Biyakoi, Vleiro, Mobi Israel. You know what that is? That's when the Pussah continues. When Hashem Elikov Imoy, that while you're doing the Avera inside you, it's really, really bothering you. And you know that you just slipped up. And you're regretting and you're feeling bad that you did this Avera. That you fell in and you listened to the Yetzara. You're bothered that you went against the will of Hashem. And then you are not able to win over the Yetzara this time. You weren't able to withstand the Nisoyen, but inside, inside, it's bothering you. So when Hashem, if while you're doing the Avera, and as soon as you do it, Hashem is inside of you. Hashem, you, you're, you're regretting and you're feeling bad that you did something wrong and something that Hashem doesn't want you to do. Hashem, then then you have a chance that a Kaddish Baruch Hu will look away because he knows that every person slips up. No one is perfect. No one. And most of us are far from perfect. And if we know it, certainly HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows it. And Hashem knows that it's going to happen. That a person will not be able to withstand every Nisayim. And a person, and nobody should here think that, oh, that I'm, I can't... Everybody has their own challenges. And everybody has their own things. And Hashem, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the first one, obviously, to know that. But Hashem wants to see that it bothers you inside. That when you do it, Hashem Eleikah Hashem is with you. And then, Lohibit Oven Biyakai. After, right after the Yitzhahara leaves, after you actually might have done the Avera, the Chet was done. And if you're not bothered by that, if you're not bothered, that is the worst deed. That is worse than actually doing the Avera. So now we can understand a little bit our question that we asked at the beginning. When we are saying, Gershu Hashem bi'imotoi, kira'uhu bi'yoisoi karoi. When we're saying to search out Hashem when He's close, so we're not telling you that you should not search out Hashem when you're in a dark time in your life. Avadi, you should. What we're saying is that now, at this time of the year, Hashem is here. He's right here. He's walking in front of us. And if we don't seek out Hashem now, it's as if we're not feeling bad about what we did. Hashem is standing right here. For Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur, Hashem is close. And if we don't reach out to Hashem now, then we're not telling Hashem that we feel bad about what we do. It's as if we're not feeling bad about what we've done. And we're okay with the way things are going. That's not good. At this time, we should be appeasing Hashem at this moment. Hashem is right here. He's very close to us. And if we don't take advantage of it, that is what the Gemara is telling us. The Yeshua Hashem Yimotzai, the Gemara Hashanah tells us, is that because He's right here. At least show Hashem that we're bothered. It bothers us. That from last year to this year, oh yeah, we made a few kabbalas, we kept them a few days, a few weeks, a few months, but we slipped up. Let's at least show Hashem that it bothers us. And the Sifa Shalom speaks a lot in the in Yonim, in the part of the Sefer. Now we're doing part of the Sefer now about Sarasim and Tshuva. The Sifa Shalom speaks about Rosh Hashanah. And he says that something very interesting about Rosh Hashanah, which we really know the concept, but you have to study it and understand the concept that by this Every single year, by Rosh Hashanah, the Seder Bria Sa'ola begins anew. That Akash Baruch Hu sort of, you know, today it's much easier to understand. You press a reset button. Maybe years ago when Seder was written, I don't know if there was such a, a concept of that. But today we can understand, restart. Akash Baruch Hu restarts the world. The Seder Bria Sa'ola begins, everything begins anew, gets a new lease, everything on Rosh Hashanah. It begins again. And listen to this beautiful pshat 
and to this confidence builder that every single one of us could take in to Yom HaKippurim next week. And of course, we should begin to use it right now during the Aserah Simei Tshuva. The Pasuk in Tehillim tells us, and we're all familiar with this Pasuk, Esoi el harim. Lift up your eyes, I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. May I in your voice, Ezri. Where is my help? Where is the aid? Where is my help going to come from? And the next Pasuk says, Ezri Meim Hashem. The help is going to come from Hashem. Who, Hashem who is what? Oisei Shemayim Ba'aretz. Ezri Meim Hashem. My, my help is going to come from Hashem. Oisei Shemayim Ba'aretz. Zot the Nesiv Shalom. A beautiful, beautiful thought. We come now to the Yom Narayim. We come to Rosh Hashanah. We come to Aser Yisimei Tshuva. We come to Shabbat Shuva. We're coming to Yom Kippur. And you know what? We step out our front door in the morning and we begin to take stock of what's going on in our life. And what do we see? We see these huge obstacles and these huge mountains in front of us that are preventing us from ever taking the first step of doing tshuva. Oh my goodness, look. Look what we've done. Look how we've been. We see these huge mountains. They, they, they don't allow us to begin doing tshuva. May I am your voyage where is my help going to come from? How can I conquer this seemingly insurmountable mountain? What am I going to do? How can we even approach Hashem now, after the past year, after the way we've acted? How can we even do this? It's a tremendous obstacle. It's a good question, right? It's sitting right in front of us. It's a great question. You know what the Eitzah is? It says in the Siva Shalom. Ezri Meim Hashem. It comes from Hashem. Oisei Shomayim Ba'aretz. And listen to this beautiful pshat. And some of you here were in, the, were in my shir this past Shabbos and we said it over and it blew everybody away. It's a beautiful confidence building thing. It, the Pasuk says, Ezri Meim Hashem Oisei Shomayim Ba'aretz. It doesn't say, Asa et HaShomayim Ba'aretz. That the Hashem who created the Shomayim and Aretz at some point, 5,000 and some odd years ago. It doesn't say that. It says, Ezrim Ha'im Hashem, Oisei Shemayim Ha'aretz, Hashem, who constantly, every year, recreates the world. And it doesn't say Asa, that it was. It is, Oisei, it's new. Like we said about Rosh Hashanah, every year Hashem starts over the world. So you know what? If the entire Bria can be renewed, Zok to Nesiv Shalom, of course, so can you. If Hashem is ready to start over the whole world and recreate the whole world, then you certainly can have a new lease on life. You certainly can come to Kodesh Baruch Hu and say, I want to start over. Like the Rambam says, if a person changes, if a person does tshuva and you really do tshuva, you know what the Rambam says about a person who does tshuva? He says, you know what, you're a totally different person. You're not the same person who did all those things last year. The Rambam is not a humor book. The Rambam means it very seriously. We don't even know the person who did all those things last year. You have a new, you're a new person. Everything begins anew. So by now, by Sarasim Echuva, dear Shu, let's seek out Hashem. Hashem is waiting for us to come back. Hashem is waiting for us because He's close to us. And you know what? Hashem is telling us, never be down. It doesn't matter what you've done, where you've been, how many times you do it. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is waiting. That mountain in front of you is put there by the Yetzir Hara to make sure that you never take that step and say, I want to be a new person. Let's learn all these lessons. Let's take these confidence builders. Let us go to this Shabbat Shuban, to this Yom Kippurim with confidence. And then we, I want to wish everybody that you should be successful in what you're for on Yom Kippur, and everybody should have a Gemara Chasimah